Hi folks, today I'm going to review Logitech G305 wireless gaming mouse with 12K hero sensor. I can say that sensor is amazing, so I'll start from the most important things, the shape, materials and switches. The shape is astonishing. This mouse lets you to decide what kind of grip you want to use. You can easily use fingertip grip, claw grip or even palm grip. I often use 131 grip with this mouse because it has that sculpture surface below the scroll wheel. I can say that this mouse will be comfortable for people who have 18.5 cm hands. Uh, it is made plastic but quite grippy one. It's not the same one that G102 has because this one is a bit more textured, doesn't attract sweat that much. Also, I like plastic mice more than rubberized mice because those ones tend to become dusty or if your hands are really oily, it can affect the rubber. Especially if the mouse uses cheaper rubber like some budget not gaming Logitech mice. I tested the durability of plastic. The mouse I tested is Logitech M100, which I used for 5 years and which still looks as new, though because of lower quality switches, it doesn't register clicks that good. You can check the video in the corner. Even though plastic grippiness is awk, plastic is not very thick and if you grab mouse quite strongly, you can hear plastic sounds. However, plastic sounds are not that annoying as wobble sounds, because it can affect your gameplay experience. I'm happy to say that this mouse scroll wheel doesn't wobble while shaking the mouse. If you play FPS in low GPI, you move your mouse quite fastly and it really matters if the scroll wheel is wobbly or not. All in all, over the quality and use materials for the price is decent. So this mouse uses less tested Omron switches option, the one that has over 10 million clicks. The higher rated one, like on G Pro has 50 million clicks. However, they are quite satisfying and very tactile. Mouse wheel is amazingly good. Third mouse button is one of the most tactile, it is very comfortable to use in Rainbow Six Siege or Blender projects. Logic Mice often has not the best third mouse button, but this one is exception. Side mouse buttons is not that good as on G102. But it is okay. It's very different from the mentioned one because it is deeper in the mouse. However, those switches make sense. Because they are deeper in the mouse, there is lower the chance of self-clicking when transporting the mouse to universities, jobs or LAN parties. Under the mouse wheel we have DPI switch. It is quite okay quality, a bit better than G102. It is smaller and higher than G102, so it is out of the way, but also easy to click. Sensor. So as I said, it is top of the line hero sensor. It is 12K and it is both top quality and efficient. All in all, it is super good for gaming. Batteries, lights and weight. This mouse uses all kinds of AA or AAA batteries with data. Because of this factor, you can use not only between rechargeable and non-rechargeable batteries, but by choosing one also distribute the weight in the mouse you like. If you choose AAA batteries, your mouse weight will be distributed more in the center. And by using AA batteries, more towards the back. So if you really prefer centered weight, then you should use AAA batteries. If you didn't really care about it, just grab AA batteries. 
Because weight depends on battery choose, I can say that with our batteries it weighs around 80 grams and with it, it will weigh somewhere between 85 100 grams. This mouse doesn't have RGB, just 5 colors indicators. But it doesn't really need that because this one doesn't use PowerPlay technology and it would drain batteries faster with those. It has two modes, 1000 pollen rate one, which is perfect for gaming, and 125 pollen rating one, which lets you to extend the period of this mouse usage between the charging, but affects sensor performance in gaming, especially if you use high refresh rate monitors, like 240Hz ones. This mouse is comfortable not only for gaming, but also for productivity or other office work. Its design doesn't scream gamer and have classic logic shape. Also, it is compact, so you can easily take it with you. For connection with your computer, it uses 2.5 GHz wireless connection with a receiver, and it doesn't have Bluetooth functionality, which probably keeps the weight and the price down because still it is advertised more towards gamers, even though it is convenient to use for office work too. All in all, I really like this mouse, and for features you get, it is really worth 50 USD price tag. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Like if you like this video. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Click that bell icon to receive notifications and comment your experiences with this mouse or ask questions regarding this mouse. See ya, people. Next time.